My brothers and sisters, the greatest gift we've been given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the gift of Iman, Islam, our beautiful deen. And this deen of ours, my brothers and sisters, is so sacred, it's so holy. So one might ask, well, okay, if this deen is so important, I want to learn about my deen. I want to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want to understand my deen more. Where do I go? My brothers, our deen is based on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi in his actions, in his words, and in what he approved of sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is important for you and I, because our beloved Prophet taught his companions, and his companions taught the generation that came after them, and that generation taught the generation that came after them, and this has been the system for 1400 years. This is our deen. Our deen does not come from internet, it does not come from YouTube, doesn't come from Facebook, and it most certainly doesn't come from a book. One of the scholars said, anyone who makes his book, his sheikh, and this has become a very big problem now. Look, you know, I don't want to go to the houses of Allah, I don't want to go to the mosques, I'm going to stay at home, you know, I'll watch this, that and the other on YouTube, and I have this book and that book, and it's authentic, so therefore, this is how I'm going to take my deen. Many of the scholars have spoken about this as well. And they said, anyone who makes his book, his sheikh, know that shaitan has become your sheikh. So it's very important that we are cautious as to where we take our deen from. Where do I get my halal and haram from? Where do I get my advice about direction in life from? Just like any one of you wouldn't go to just anyone that claims to be a doctor and take any medicine that he writes on you on a piece of paper, like how you're concerned about your body and your health and your well-being, you should be more concerned about your deen and where you get your religion from. Just because someone has a following on YouTube or a following on Facebook, this doesn't give him or her the authority to be speaking about halal and haram and who is and who isn't a Muslim. He needs to be a learned person. He needs to be someone that has studied. He needs to be someone that has sat. He needs to be someone that the other mashaykh, the other imam, they also approve of. 1400 years of scholars and people who gave their life to deliver this deen to us. Now we're going to put all of this aside and the opinion of someone that has a bit of a following on Facebook. Now this is important to me. Now this has become the decider for me as to whether or not I do something or I don't. Don't be fooled. Don't be caught up in the hype. Our deen is measured. It's calculated. It's advanced. So, you know, yeah, maybe sometimes you come across someone, wow, he says some very nice words, extremely passionate. You know, your heart clicks onto it, right? Be cautious. Don't just run with it. Come back. Go back to the masjid. Sit down with the sheikh and say, hey, this is what I heard. Is this correct? And a final point, any individual or any group that tells you that we are on haq, that we are the only ones that have the correct understanding of deen, and that everyone else is misguided and everyone else is on batil, stay away from these people. This is a clear sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that these people have no idea what they're talking about, and listening to such people will end up destroying you and destroying your deen. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide every single one of us and to put us onto the same road that he put his beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.